we would we would have our house stoned and and egged often that uh, was commonplace um, and and everyone else everybody else in the neighborhood would be safe um, my uh, my other, my family members had times uh, you know vulgar lettering and and various uh, words sprayed on their cars Hindus Paki uh, my first day of school I had a sticker slapped on my back that said go home Paki um, and sorry go home Hindu and uh, not that it matters much did you ever get into, into any physical altercations many at school <laughs> um, and and that was the response that was uh, that was uh, uh, available at the time that was the only response that I that I knew about after school I would uh, I would be uh, called out or I would call someone out and that was just a way of life at the time uh, uh, you know otherwise you would uh, it, it would just uh, you'd continually be, become a target well I didn't feel Canadian <laughs> I didn't feel that I was part of this country I felt like I was a guest and uh, and uh, an unwanted guest at that so it was a turning point for me when my country said to me we will accept you into the ranks of the law of, of this country's law enforcement, into the ranks of the Royal Canadian Mounted Police, which is a symbol and a tradition of this country. We will accept you. How did it feel inside? It felt great. It felt uh, I felt very proud. It changed everything. It changed my relationship to the experiences that I had. It changed my perspective on the things that I had gone through. You can allow your experiences to either rule over you or you can allow your experiences to be uh, those times where you become better so I never chose to stay down I never chose to take those experiences as failures or, or uh, uh, those experiences as a the identifiers for this for who I am or this country um, I took those experiences as we got work to do I took those experiences as um, we can be better than this and I want to contribute towards that.